In the second decade of the 21st century, four Southern Railway steam locomotives were restored to operation. Three consolidations, the oldest dating from 1890, as well as famed Fan Trip Mikado number 4501, all once again felt the heat of a roaring fire and steam coursing through their cylinders. We present some of the best scenes we've captured of these locomotives in our numerous trips to see them in action in Highlights of Southern Steam 2011 to 2019. It was in 2011 that we began shooting in widescreen, just in time for a visit to the Three Rivers Rambler in Knoxville, Tennessee, and Southern Consolidation number 154. Dating from 1890, the locomotive actually predated the 1894 merger of the East Tennessee, Virginia, and Georgia Railway and the Richmond and Danville Railroad to form the Southern Railway. Our visit over Mother's Day weekend caught the first public trips of the year along with an unscheduled Friday shakedown that we just happened to stumble upon. Sit back and enjoy one of the oldest operating standard gauge locomotives in the U.S. Consolidation number 401 came to Monticello, Illinois in 1971. Acquired from an Alabama quarry in 1967, the worn out 280 was a static display at the Monticello Railway Museum until a generous donation helped kickstart her return to operation. She returned to steam in the fall of 2010 and we present highlights from a decade of operation. Built in 1904, consolidation number 630 is larger than the 1907 built number 401. She's also more famous, having been part of the Southern Railway steam program for a decade from 1968 to 1978 when she was loaned to the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum. Number 630 operated at the museum until 1989 when she was taken out of service in need of an overhaul. The locomotive was donated to the museum in 1999 and after an extensive rebuild was returned to service in March 2011. That July we visited the museum to see the newly restored locomotive in operation on the TVRM's three-mile main line. In 2012, Southern Railway Mikado number 4501 was moved into the Sewell shop at the Tennessee Valley for an extensive rebuild. She emerged in the fall of 2014, rebuilt with improvements such as a mechanical stoker and a feed water heater. These improvements were made to many of the 1911 Baldwin sister engines, but never to 4501 due to her early retirement.
Highlights on the Tennessee Valley schedule have been double headers with 630 and 4501 on the Somerville Steam Specials. Again, scenes shot over the course of five years are edited geographically.